Hello, traders, and welcome to TradingWithBill.com. I'm Bill. We're in Pattaya, Thailand. I got to tell you, blue skies today. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, I will tell you that yesterday and Saturday, we had rain every day and a lot of it. So maybe we'll get a dry day today. That would be a change. But on the other hand, I don't mind the rain. It's kind of nice. Traders, good to be with you on this Monday. Full trading week ahead. Exciting, exciting, exciting. Pairs are moving. Things are happening. Got some good... Setups today on these dollar pairs, i.e. the Euro, Aussie, Euro, Yen looks good right off the top. Just scanning my other screen over here. Looks like we have some good opportunities today. New Zealand is on a holiday today. Hmm. Um, and what else is going on? Uh, speaker out of the Aussie, who cares? Not much is going on today, folks. Not much cat has wholesale sales today that's about it so what does that mean it's a technical day today and i've got no rants had a great time my good friend jen listen i only have one friend in thailand <laughs> joking but i have one friend that trades forex and uh him and his beautiful wife came out on friday uh evening and we had a great great time it was a lot of fun and uh hopefully we'll be doing that again again very shortly. All right, so um, look, taking a look here at now. See this? So Apple, okay, here's my rant. Apple decided to do an update. What, what's not on here, my friends? Yeah, my U.S. dollar index is not on here. So we'll take a look at the other screen in just a moment. I'll tell you what that is, but the dollar index is not on there. All right, that's it. I don't see anything going on. Earnings season has hit. Things are coming out on earnings. Uh, just keep an eye on that if you're trading in the U.S. session. Um, and that, you know, it just affects you if you're going to do earnings trades, uh, whether you're doing stocks, options, whatever you're trading. Um, just be aware that earnings is out and uh, don't stand in front of the freight train. All right. Okay. That's it. Wow. Quick. Not, not a lot here. Let's get to the charts. Let us get to the charts. So, you know, I was playing around. Here we are in this Euro. And, okay, here's another rant. <laughs> here's another rant. What's up with this charting system? So I look at this charting system. Then I turn my head and I look at NinjaTrader. And then, like, there's like a difference between, um, you know, price, right? It's not, it's not exactly the same. Luckily, a long, long, long time ago, they taught me, that you have to, you should always have two charting systems. So just take note of that. You know, if you're only working off of one platform, get a demo account in another platform so you can compare what's going on between one and the other. Pretty important for, you know, if you're trading, especially for us who trade intraday. In other words, I don't keep trades overnight. Um, you know, if you're swing trading, you know, or you're position trading where you're trading, being in trades for two weeks, three weeks, a month, whatever, that's different. It really doesn't make that much of a difference. But for those of us who are into intraday trading, it does make a difference. All right, so euro dollar, this is at a nice level here. It's a, you know, the 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 200 exponential moving average is at 1.1520. We'd love to get in this at 1.1495, as close as possible to that. We are going to have an issue here at this 55. It's going to bounce. Um, you know, you know this is. This is going to be a, a tight trade. Really, we should be getting in this now, and we'd worry about the, the uh, 1500 level when it gets to the 1500 level. But you know, it's a Monday. You know, this is going to be a significant line here. It's seven hours. It's seven hours, seven a.m. in Thailand, right? So you know, we're gonna we're gonna get an issue here, right? And you know, we're not even at 1500 yet. We're gonna get our first issue here. So this isn't an easy trade. Plan-wise, it's an easy trade, but, you know, is price action going to do its thing? Like I said, it's a technical day today. There's no data coming out that's going to affect what's going on in, in price. So we're going to trade it technically, but, you know, I, I do think it's a valid trade, and we'll keep an eye on it. I, myself, I'm going to wait to get to 114.95 and reassess and then enter my trade at that level. I don't want to fight that 1,500 mark myself. Those of you who are braver than me, I'd be in it right now. <laughs> uh, we're going 
go through the majors as we do on a Monday. So let's get to where my idea GPU SD. There we go. So here is the pound. This pound's just taking a beating, isn't it? Man, oh man, oh man. Just taking a beat. All right, there's really, really nothing to do here. I like this right here at this 3100 level, right? You know, are we going to get this pullback? You know, that's, that's the challenge of the year, right? Getting these pullbacks so we can get good entries. But, you know, we all know entries are, entries are, entries are important. So, right? So my colors are screwed up here. That needs to be green. This needs to be red. There we go. So we, you know, we want to pull back. I don't want to sell this here. We don't want to sell this at the 10. Now you're right into the 55. You know, you just don't want to be in it right where it's at. So we need some sort of a pullback. We'd love to get up to this 1.3100 level, somewhere in there, 1.3190, somewhere in there, and let's take it to the downside. I don't think I'm going to play with it at this level. But, I, but we know it's bearish, right? <laughs> there's, there's no question of what this bear is doing, what, what's going on with it. It's bearish. It's to the downside. We want to sell it. I do not want to buy the pound. I'm almost as adamant about that like I am the, <laughs> the kiwi, right? I don't want to buy the kiwi. Well, I don't want to buy the pound right now. <laughs> I want to sell the pound. I want to sell the pound, right? Let's say a little the Aussie. Maybe, because I didn't type it right, it's not going to work. There we go. All right. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Here we go. Oh, this is some interesting levels. Interesting, interesting levels here. You know, wow. I gotta tell you, this this to me really looks better doing something like this. And then we'll just take this down to here and sell it below that trend line. So we're looking at like 7110, right? And we're gonna and you're gonna take it down as far as you can. You know, 70, um, yeah, that's all right. Sure, why not? Yeah, I'm okay with that. You know, with 70, 90, you're going to get out. Yeah, let's get a break of that trend line. And uh, we'll take it down from there. You know, normally, you know that I would say, well, let's get to the 200. But this is pretty messy here, right? Look at left of the chart. This is a lot of Forex junk right here. This is this is not, you know, sexy, as I would say. Right? This is just not good. This is, uh, this is a mess. This is a mess. Um, so, of course, 7150 would be the optimal trade, right? 7150. Who wouldn't want that, right? Yeah, bring me up to here, man. I'll take you, I'll take you all the way to the downside from there. We gonna get there? Eh, I don't think so. <laughs> but if you want an optimal trade, that would be your optimal trade, right? Um, yeah, I, I, I would take this from a break of that trend line. You're gonna be okay. Um, you know, that looks good to me. It does. It does. And we'll just take it all the way down as far as we can. You know, now you know, I tell you, if, if I'm going to take this trade, I would take this trade full throttle. In other words, I would put my regular lot size in. I would sell it, get to break even. I'd probably cut it in half, get another 10 pips, 15 pips, and I'd just leave one third on and let that just move it, just let it do its thing. But, um, yeah, so this trade would be a full throttle trade. There is a lot of stuff left to the chart, but it's not as bad as up here, right? This is pretty bad up here. That's a lot of junk you got to fight. This is not as bad down here. We got, got some clearage here. We got this we got to deal with. 
but I get in this full throttle. And listen, if I only got 20 pips, I'm 20 pips at full throttle. I'm okay with that, right? I, if I got to get out, I'll get out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it's not, that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. Let's take a look at the New Zealand dollar. See what's cooking here. Oh, I like this. I like this. I like this. I do. I do. I do. So let's get rid of this stuff here. Remove. And remove. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I like this. I like this. I like this. I like this. This is the problem, right? We're coming into a lot of stuff here. Left this. So now they're closed today, right? So there's no Kiwi's closed today. So this I don't like, folks. I gotta be. Yeah, this, do I want to fight this? And this is something that you got to, you know, you got to see it in the trade. Number one, New Zealand's closed today. Two, you're coming into a 55 EMA. You're coming into, uh, we're just breaking now below a whole number and it's not holding. Um, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. So if we did this and took this down to the 200, 65.70 down to 65.30. And I think this is going to break, by the way. I don't think this support's going to hold. Why don't I think this support's going to hold at this 65.30? Because this is a wide open space, folks. This is wide open down here. If this breaks below that, this thing's going to tank. This thing's going to tank down to here, right? This would be my next, next level of concern. All righty. So, I'd rather give up some pippage, right? I'd rather give up some pips and be a little bit safer. And I, I get it, right? You want to take it here at resistance. Yeah, I get it, but we're, we're coming into a mess here, right? We're coming into a pretty strong mess here. And I just don't know if I want to fight that, Okay. So my thing is, I'm going to wait till this clears this 200. So we sort of put this little range in here, didn't we? Got a little range in here, but we're going we're gonna to watch this now. Um, I, I want to get in this at 0 0.6570. I really don't want to fight this left of the chart, and I don't want to fight this 55, and then right after the 55, you're going to fight the 200. This is a lot of fighting here, right? This doesn't look comfortable to me. So I'm going to play it safe. I'll get in it after this 200 exponential moving average. And then really, it's a nice shot down. We get a bounce here. Who cares? You're in, you're, it's break even. It's a free trade. You've probably scaled out something. And now you're on your way down to this next level. And we'll just leave it there. But I, I like the trade. But I'm going to play it safe. I'm not, I'm not going to jump in this until we'll blow that 200. It sounds like a good idea, huh? Let's take a look at the Euro Aussie. You know, this is one of my favorites. Wow, look at this little bad boy, huh? I don't know when we did this trade plan, but it worked. <laughs> this trade plan worked. Whenever we did it, it worked. Look at this. Downside. Bang, 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 bang. There was your trade. Woohoo! Goodbye, Charlie. There she goes. All right, so we know where support is. That's not a tough one. All right, we're just going to come down here to these wicks right there. Bang. All right? There's your wicks right there. To the downside. We got a confluence area here. We got resistance here. Right below the whole number. All righty. So... I hate to put this out there, but pick your poison, right? Where do you want to, What do you want to do? We might get a pullback up to 62.20, right? You don't. 
you know, it, it, see if it's going to, you know, it's below the 6200 area, so that's a good thing. So we want to see if we can get this, you know, to clear back down farther and we can get get here. Um, I'm going to wait. You know, it's got to, if it closes below the 200 and the, and the uh, 10 EMA, I'll take a smaller, much smaller position. I'll take a, I'll take a little wide to the downside, see what happens. You know, the Aussie is, I mean, the Euro Aussie is bearish, and we know that when it when it when it's in its mode, it continues. This was a nice pullback, right? This was a nice pullback here, right? So if you took this and fibbed it, right? I'm gonna fib this latest swing thing, right? So here we are at the 618 of the current swing that we're talking about, right? Everybody understand me? So you can see where I did that, that candle right above that 200 current swing all the way down to where support is right now with the 618 Fibonacci level. This is a good place to sell. We got a lot of reasons to sell this at this level. So just keep an eye on it. All right. Let's take a look at what happened in the U.S. session. Here we go by the Thinkers TOS platform, Thinkorswim. By TD Ameritrade. Look at this oil. <laughs> wow, we're at some nice levels here. Really moved down. Um, Continue to move down. Currently now at 69.37. That means gold should be going up, and gold is not going up. Gold is sideways. Um, oil's down. This just looks to me like a buying opportunity, right? 6,900, right? Maybe even 68, 50, right? Take that to this. Just looks like a buying opportunity to me, folks. We'll see what happens in the U.S. session. Um, I, I haven't done any reading. You know, it's early in the morning for me. I haven't done any reading as far as what's going on out there. But you know, technically, this looks like a buying opportunity. Dollar index is at 95.79. That's a good thing. Like I said, gold is sideways. Really not doing much. The VIX is at 1959, 59, 89, sorry, 1989. That's nice. We'd like to see the VIX up there. Listen, anything above 12 on the VIX is great. The ESs continue to drop. Look at this, my friends. They continue to drop, but below the 200 exponential moving average, starting a new day below the 200. What's that mean? We want to sell the euro and the euro futures. Sell it, sell it, sell it. Folks, don't let anybody tell you, but the ES is as bearish. <laughs> the ES is bearish. I had a nice little pullback here. It's bearish starting the day with a, with a red candle. We'll see what happens. We'll see what the markets are going to give us on a Monday with very little data to come out. But I got to be honest with you, in stocks and options, they don't care about news. <laughs> they, don't, they don't care about news at all. <laughs> NFP Friday, if you're in... The U.S. market is trading stocks, options, right? They don't even talk about it. It's like it's not even a thought. They don't even say hello or anything. They don't care numbers are coming out. They just ignore the whole thing. So one nice thing about trading derivatives and stocks and stuff like that, you don't have to worry about news like you do with Forex. All right, that's what's going on in New York. That is what is happening. Traders, thank you so much for being with me today. Went a little bit over today, but it's a Monday and it's okay. And it's a beautiful day out here in Pattaya, Thailand. Bright blue sunny skies, nice white puffy clouds. Traders, thanks for being with me. Thank you for your support. Always remember, trade smart, not hard. We'll catch you tomorrow morning in Asia. Traders, have a great trading day. And always remember to what? Let's have a little bit of fun. See you tomorrow. Cheers.